Welcome everyone, Richard Schneeman here. Hopefully you're excited to learn about Active Record Offset. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here we have a bunch of products in our database. We already talked about using order, so we're gonna order by the price descending. We also talked about using limit, so we're only gonna pull back 10. So uh, we're not gonna be using offset right now. First of all, we just wanna show, hey, look, um, this the first item in our database with the highest price, so we're sorting by descending price, is going to be this direct electric bridge. I don't even know what that is. Uh, it's got a price of $1,000. If you want, we can apply an offset to this query. So let's go ahead and add an offset of zero. So if we are offsetting our query by, query by zero, we should get the same element. So there we go. It's the exact same element. Um, but you know, hey, we're limiting, we're only limiting by 10. Maybe we want the, so this is the 10 most expensive items in our, in our database. What if we wanted the next most 10? So, well, we would just offset it by 10. There we go. Uh, we're no longer getting that, um, getting that exact same product. Here we have a product ID of 1372 and we can actually see the price. It's a little bit cheaper. So we're, we're going down. So if you want, we can offset by another 10. So a total of 20, and the price is getting even cheaper. So uh, using offset is a good way that we can add something to our application called pagination. So whenever, whenever you view a website like Amazon, you're not going to see, if you're searching for you know baby blankets, you're not going to see 100,000 baby blankets, if that's how many baby blankets they have, you're going to only see a certain number per page. Generally, it's going to be like 20, maybe 50. Uh, you might even be able to bump it up to 100. But the important part is that we're limiting that to, you know, we are limiting it to a, a page number. So maybe we're limiting it to 10, maybe it's 100. And then when you're viewing the first page, you're viewing it by zero. And then you want to view the second page, then we're going to see how many you limited it by and add that to our offset. So basically you're seeing the next 10 in the uh, available set. And then you are seeing the next 10 in the available set. So you start off with zero, go to 10, go to 20. Uh, it's very convenient, that's called pagination. Typically whenever we're gonna be doing that, we are gonna be using an order. So we enforce our order and then we are gonna be using a limit and an offset all together. So that's probably the most convenient, most interesting thing we can do with offset. Uh, we can also do some other things like if we wanted to pull a random database value out, then, you know, hey, we could do that. And we can see here also in our SQL query that we are, we have this order by uh, price and then we also have a limit of one and finally that we have an offset of 20. So it, it almost translates directly one to one with our SQL. So offset is very useful. If you are looking to paginate something, there are a couple of gems out there. The one that comes to mind and is probably the most used is called will paginate. So you can Google that uh, right now and you don't even have to think about offset. You just tell it what page number you're on and how many per page and it'll do all the magic for you. Thanks for sticking around. In the next section, we're gonna be talking quite extensively about joins.